Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sport. It's a very interesting news today as World Rugby has announced that a new smart rugby ball will be used to help match officials during the World Rugby Under-20 Championship, which will take place uh, in South Africa in June. And uh, we've heard, well, we know heard rumors, we've heard sort of uh, stories and stuff, but I mean, we've read about a potential smart rugby ball, which could revolutionize the way that we officiate uh, rugby and, and the way that rugby is really played. And it has now been confirmed that in collaboration with Sportable and Gilbert, um, they will take on the first world trial of the smartphone technology in live officiating capacity at the Under 20 Championships in June. Uh, before we talk about exactly how this is all going to work and what sort of technology it has and, and where it's going to really sort of impact the game, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so how it works. The ball is tracked in 3D and real time with beacons positioned around the pitch to determine the exact position of the ball up to 20 times per second and provide immediate uh, feedback on every kick, pass, and throw. And uh, this is going to be done, and the way that this is going to really sort of feedback into the officials is for forward pass, for example. So it says that it will assist with decision-making on forward passes by measuring the relative velocity of the ball relative to the player as it leaves their hands. So as indicating where the ball has been thrown forward in the act of passing. That's going to be life changing, you know. Just literally, it'll take base, and and again, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how, how accurate it is, and whether we're going to be sitting there looking at like blatant examples of where it's not been forward, but but, but tracked to move forward, or whether it's going to be sort of those marginal ones, and the ball says it's forward, and then you have to go, okay, well, we have to trust the technology. But basically, it's going to track as the ball leaves the hand whether it is moving forward or not. Uh, touch location. I think this is going to be a very very interesting one. Um, so it's going to provide an accurate location from where the ball across the line. Now, this should be pretty easy to get right. I mean, this is exactly the same as goal line technology, for example, in, in football, where you've got, um, you know, whether the ball has crossed the line or not. Um, so this is, I think this is going to be quite interesting. At the moment, we sort of, you, you've got always the argument, you know, between the kickers and the and the assistant judges, uh, you know, saying that, no, the ball was further or, you know, short or whatever. Uh, this is now going to pinpoint the exact location. What will be interesting to see is how quickly they can read that information to the uh, TMO and, and whether it's going to be, you know, one of those things is kind of a bit pain with the guys going, no, two minutes to your left, two minutes to your right, or whether, uh, um, you know, it's going to be built into the watches. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to implement it, but that's going to be quite interesting in itself. Um, then uh, touch in flight, this is also quite interesting in terms of whether, you know, for example, if if a um, ball has been charged down, uh, you know, if, if a ball has been, been knocked forward, for example. So, for example, if we look at the knock-on, um, you know, from... Probably, probably not sort of Nance situation actually now I don't to think about. But yeah, so a partial knock on for I mean knock on if there was a you know was a partial touch uh, in a charge down for example, all those sort of things, it'll sort of it can determine whether the line uh, whether the ball has been uh, touched by the change in spin and trajectory. Uh ball over the trial line again, this is a bit of golden technology, it will determine whether the ball has crossed the trial line. So for example, if you can pretty sure you've got ground, you're not sure whether it's completely over the trial line or not, the ball will be able to tell us that. And then line up throws, that's also gonna be quite an interesting one. Um it's going to give instant feedback on whether a line throw is straight or not, uh, measuring on the angle from the release to being touched by the player. So the hook is going to have to be more accurate than, than ever. Um, basically, how it's going to work in terms of the implementation is that direct feed is going to be made available to the TMO, um, who will be using this information to provide feedback to the referee. Uh, it says the smart board is already successfully delivering rich insights and, and data to, to aid broadcast digital experiences, but recent testing has also demonstrated potential to assist with officiating decision making. So for example, if we watch the Six Nations and the the stats and the kicks, for example, you know, how much territory you've been gaining with each kick, for example, and stuff like that. That's all from ball tracking. Um so it's the, the technology already exists. So for example, in terms of asking, well, you know, are the balls going to feel different? Are they going to be noticed? It's already in place. So the Gilbert smart ball is already in use. Um they just haven't really used it for 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 officiating. And uh, basically, this is going to be used as a trial in the 20 championship. And if this is successful, we could very well see it in France 2023. Uh, what will be interesting, again, is how quickly the teams can adapt to it. And, and you know, for example, you know, people talked about those potential forward passes that built to one of the Stormers trials, but it was like way back and pretty arbitrary type of pass. So people sort of dismissed it. But now the ball could pick that up immediately and say, no, nah, they switched off for a second. The ball, the ball actually traveled forward. That's actually a forward pass all the way, we go, all the way back to 22 for a scrum for the other side. Um, so it's going to be really, really interesting to sort of see how it works, whether it's going to speed the game up, slow it down, add to the game, detract from the game. Um, but John, let me know what you think down in the comments below. 
Uh, is this going to be a good thing? Is it going to revolutionize the sport? Is it going to make it much more fair? Is it going to take a bit of heat away from the referees, for example, because it leaves, you know, it removes the interpretation for forward passes, for not in the line straight, you know, you know where the, where the ball touches, for example, if the ball's over the trial line. So I do think it's going to make the referees, uh, uh, you know, life a lot easier uh, and they can sort of focus on sort of other things necessarily. Um, but uh, it should be interesting to sort of see how accurate it is and 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 whether we can learn to accept the technology as right or not. Because in football, for example, goal line technology has been revolutionary, uh, even sort of the offside line. Um, it's taken a while usually to get used to it and to sort of really implement it correctly. But eventually, there's no doubt it's going to you know improve the game. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven, and I'll chat to you soon.